The first ever online Halloween Horror Movie Film Festival. Watch now for free. Hey guys, Chuck Murray here. Charles Foltz here. Today we're going to be talking about the Crobble. Now you can see it being tested on one of our heads if you click right here. But right now we are going to be showing you some other tests. Alright, now we're going to try the pineapple test. Something that you guys should know is that this is a chopper. It's not about finesse. It's not about having a control strike like you would a katana. It's about swinging hard, utilizing the weight, and then following through in order to get another strike. So here you go, Charles. Let's see if you can cut through this pine. All right. Let's use it for one of its main applications. Let's chop and saw some wood. Now first, I'm gonna chop with this edge here. I'm gonna do some 45 opposing 45 degree angle strikes and see how far we get with just three strikes. Got all the way through that board and that's about a one by four with three strikes. Not too bad. Let's try the saw. Yeah, ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not doing too well. Not really that great uh, for sawing wood like that, but for smaller trees and stuff, I'd say it probably would do just fine. But for getting through wood like that in a hurry, I would use this edge. All right, now we're gonna try to throw it. Well, I definitely hit blade first every single time, but this wood flexes a lot, so getting it to stick is a little bit hard. On uh, a tree or something like that, it would definitely work, and if you just go to the top of the fence, it'll definitely go all the way through. Uh, and my last hit, though, it <laughs> definitely broke a piece of the fence, so that's another... This fence is, this fence is toast, guys. We're gonna have to get another fence. Now after throwing that massive piece of steel, we should probably fix the fence. So let's see if the hammer and the claw work. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. I even missed and, uh, <laughs> and it went all the way in. So here's the claw. Pretty incredible. Uh, be careful though because uh, you can easily cut yourself if you don't have the sheath on this and you're using the crowbar end. But my God, I'm completely amazed. And it actually makes a really, really comfortable seat. So if you're at a campfire, roasting marshmallows, whatever, this is a great seat to use. Uh, just be very careful though, because it is very, very sharp and you don't want to castrate yourself. So, from chopping pineapples to wood, this multi-tool definitely, definitely works. You can open bottles with it, you can sit on it, you can plow, you can dig, you got paracord. This is hollow so you can stuff stuff in. Side, you can take this screw off and put a spike in it. You got a crowbar, it, you got a hammer. It's, it's an amazing, amazing utility tool and it is definitely CGB approved. It is a little bit heavy, it does have a little bit of a short blade, but other than that, it's really, really great. And again, if you wanna see it being used against one of our ballistic heads, just click right here and check it out, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. It is one of our bloodiest episodes yet. With Zombie Go Boom, I'm Chuck Murray. We will see you next time.